Hello everyone! Whether you're a seasoned sheet metal engineer or a beginner just starting out mastering the terminology is essential to mastering the press brake. In the field of sheet metal processing, ADH has always been committed to providing customers with high-quality press brake solutions. To understand the press brake, you must first understand its basic structure. Like the human skeleton, the frame is the foundation of the entire press brake, providing stability and rigidity. The bed is the fixed plane where the sheet metal is placed, and it is the reference for the bending process. The ram is the moving part that applies pressure. It pushes the upper die punch downwards to cooperate with the lower die fixed on the bed to bend the sheet metal into the desired shape. The shape and angle of the upper and lower dies determine the shape of the final product. Precise bending is inseparable from precise control. The back gauge is like the positioning ruler of the press brake. It is controlled by the CNC system to ensure that the sheet metal is in the precise position every time it is bent. The x-axis controls the back gauge to move left and right determining the flange length. The y-axis controls the up and down movement of the ram. On a dual cylinder CNC press brake, Y1 and Y2 control the oil cylinders on both sides. The z-axis measures the left and right position of the back gauge and the R-axis controls the vertical movement of the back gauge fingers, which is crucial for complex bending. During the bending process, the press brake components are subjected to tremendous force, which can cause deflection, which is the bending of the components. To solve this problem, modern press brakes are usually equipped with a deflection compensation system. In addition, because metal stretches when bent, we also need to consider the bend allowance and bend deduction to ensure the dimensional accuracy of the final product. Bottom dead center refers to the lowest point reached by the ram during the bending process. When operating a press brake, safety is paramount. The pinch point is the area between the upper and lower dies where the metal is bent. Be sure to keep your hands and fingers away from this dangerous area. Tonnage indicates the maximum force exerted by the press brake, which is closely related to the tensile strength, thickness, and bend radius of the material. The throat is the depth of the press brake, which limits the maximum flange length you can bend. By mastering these terms, you can better understand the working principle of the press brake and perform more precise and safe operations. Want to learn more about press brakes or consult detailed information about ADH press brakes? Please visit our official website or leave a message in the comment area. Thank you for watching and see you next time.